tongue considerably. Yeah. All right. The St. Madeline Sophie Center is receiving 11 vehicles to transport its students. 11 cars. Yeah. Francella Perez is live at the facility in El Cajon with more. Francella, this is such great news. Hi, Francella. I know, I know. It's so heartwarming. Hi, uh, Carlos, Lauren. It's not just one car. It's not two. It's, th it's not three. It's 11 cars. So this is so important for the students' uh, development, for their transportation, for their jobs, for the community, for social skills. Uh, it just gets them around. It picks them up. It drops them off. So it's, it's a big deal that they're actually uh, getting these 11 cars. Um, and we're going to talk to Mark Fisher. He's a senior program manager here from uh, St. Madeline Sophie's Center. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Um, I was talking to you just a little while ago, and I just keep saying that. It's just amazing uh, what you guys do. You are in charge of the garden and also of the senior program. So tell me a little bit about the senior program. Uh, in the senior program, we have 75 people that are in that program. It's a retirement-based program. So the majority of those people have been in the program for a lifetime. But we do have incoming consumers uh, that come into the program from other programs in the community. And what is your goal? I know you were mentioning that you have the overall three goals, social skills, recreation, and community. Um, we want our clients to be engaged in the consumer as much as possible, retain their skills, and actually enjoy their retirement. So uh, we have a lot of fun things going on, clap, classes on campus, and they enjoy everything that goes on on campus. But tell me what's going on on campus, because I know you have so many, I mean, every time I turn around, it's like, oh, well, you have also ceramics, and you have, uh, you know, gardening, and this is also what you're a part of. Uh, they do and they sell some of the um, the pots, uh, the plants, and then they get a little fee also, right? right. Well, um, I'd like to think that the garden is one of our feature areas. <laughs> um, we have 75 people that come up here every single day. They're involved in all the maintenance in the garden, propagating. We have a sales house that's open during the week. To Anybody the can come in and Anybody purchase plants. People to come and see what we're all about. Okay, and you have not only succulents, but you have vegetables, you have fruits. We do, depending on upon the type of year, time of year. We have some community gardens that we maintain, so we maintain those. We bring back the produce here. We integrate it into our kitchen as much as we can. Okay. We also have an aquaponic system, so we do grow some things here that go into the kitchen. So whatever sold, the students get a fee, right? So it's almost, you know, they, they're actually learning a job skill. Yeah, we're all about work training, so um, people get a portion of um, the the products that they sell here, like in, for instance, ceramics. We have a ceramics um, department. They make the ceramics. We plant the plants, and then they get the consumer gets a piece of that when we sell that. Um, we also have people that earn an hourly rate working in the garden. So, um, yes, they have potential to earn money here. That is wonderful. It's a large garden. I mean, it is. How, how large is a garden? Would you say because it goes beyond uh, both sides, right and left, right? We have two acres here. Wow. So it's a big. Big project, big upkeep, uh, three hardworking staff that are up here all the time making sure this happens and teaching our consumers, supporting them. It's yes. a good team. And then the food that's taken into the kitchen, what do you guys, uh, do you, that's another part of the program, right? You teach them what, how to cook. Uh, what do you teach them then in the kitchen? There are 12 people that work in the kitchen, receive training in there. Uh, in fact, a number of them have actually gotten jobs in the community. Um, they prepare lunch, so that's the main thing that they do. There's about 200 lunches that they serve every single day, so every aspect of preparation, cleanup, they're involved in all of that. Wow, that is a big yeah. That is great. Thank you so much, Mark Fisher, for everything that you do for the community, uh, for San Diegans, because really they're all for San Diegans. If anybody's interested in this program, what do they have to do? If they have a family member that maybe thinks, you know, this is a free program, they have so much to offer, what do they need to, go to do? Well, they can call us and we can set up a tour and we'll do like a little interview over the phone. And also we're financed somewhat by the regional center. So if they're connected to the regional center, they don't need to be connected to the regional center. They can call us directly and we'll We'll take it from there. That's wonderful.